Hey guys, Shannon from Shannon's Engineering. Our latest Land Cruiser is about to leave back to Toyota, so I thought I'd give you a quick rundown on what we've done. Um, this one's been a build from the very beginning. We've handled everything, including the suspension, the tray, all the ARB accessories, uh, interior, battery management, wheels, tires, the whole lot. So um, I'll give you a rundown on what we've done. All right, so starting off with the tray. The tray is a steel chassis and perimeter frame and everything else is aluminium. So we've got aluminium uh, drop sides with stainless steel hardware. Aluminium flooring, which is removable and we've even put some um, propeller plate on the inside of the tray sides to stop scratches and dings coming through to the dinging the outside and chipping the paint. Uh, two tires on the headboard up there. Uh, one of each different offset. This guy's got different offset rims for the diff correction as he didn't want to spend and get the diff replaced. At the back, we've got our standard design there with um, maxi lamp tail lights, LED reverse lights, and we've also got the rock lights underneath the tray, which is standard with our cruiser trays. He didn't want a uh, number um, rear, rear drawer, he just didn't think you'd ever use it. Coming around the sides here, we've got the aluminium toolboxes and one piece alloy guards inside this toolbox. No central locking on this one, but he has got the fuel filler located at the back of the tray there using the genuine cap. In the other side, toolbox we have The ARB twin piston compressor and the hidden tap box with the compressor switch and the water pump switch. Underneath the tray we've got 60 litre poly water tank connected to a high flow water pump. Two alloy air tanks with stainless steel lines and now we also put a gauge we put a gauge on the tanks now, which is sort of just a, at a glance, you can see how much pressure's in the, in the tank. Um, rear view camera connected to uh, the head unit and the bleed valve here for the air, air system. We also have a gravity feed tap outlet for the water tank. If you just wanna wash your hands or feed or whatever and not use the pump, you can just simply open that tap, get some water out. We've also put on Heyman and Reese three and a half ton tow bar with a nice big heavy duty drop hitch for his trailer just to keep it all nice and level as he has had the suspension changed. The suspension, we've put a superior two inch lift kit with remote res shocks and 500 kilo constant load springs, which are Dobinson's I believe. The remote res canister is pretty easy to get to. If you want to change the settings on the shocks, you can just reach straight under and do that yourself. And in the wheel arch there, you have access to the water filter. We've also put a three inch DPF back exhaust on, which is, I don't know, it's gonna help a bit. It's gonna help a bit with the flow. Can't really see it under there, but there she is. Okay, moving right along. Down the side, you can see we've changed the mirrors to some OCAM, big chunky ones, good for towing and seeing past the, the ute itself. ARB 63 mil pipe uh, side steps, brush bars, and the deluxe bull bar. All from ARB. It suits the truck and it gives you a good front protection. He didn't want to winch because he'll never use it, but we've put a radiator bash plate on and a front recovery point. As you can see, some steady Type X Pro spotties on the front there. And also we've got a steady slimline, I think it's a 40 inch light bar at the front there. 
coming down the sides we've got the mini steady light bars here with an external switch you can just use that at any time you don't need the key in the ignition that's on both sides and another little feature we've added to this ute is uh, we've got some LED strobe lights built into the back of the tray and if you can see at the top there the back of the platform Little switch there on the dash. No key required. You might have seen this on our socials already. Uh, it's pretty bright at night. This guy's gonna be doing a lot of work um, near the road and stuff, so he wanted that on there. All right, well, I'm already in, the, in, so I might as well show you the interior. Inside, we've got the Department of Interior New door cards with some Alpine Type R splits, black duck seat covers, uh, Department of Interior roof T console with a um, little USB outlet there, a couple of map, pocket, map lights and pockets, and we've also got the center console with a nice deep pocket there, two cup holders and a little coin jar, multimedia head unit, and that's pretty much it for the inside. Oh, don't forget the Red Arc Toe Pro. And this little switch here, little button, you can change the patterns on the strobe lights. There's about 10 different patterns if that floats your boat. In the back, we've got the little Department of Interior little consoles here. Great for passengers or having kids in the back and want to charge does their shit, you can use that. Also some switch blanks, which will be handy for things like accessories. I don't know, you could put a water pump switch there or I don't know, whatever you want to do, you can use. I can't think of anything to use those switches, but the options there, That's on, they're on both sides as well. And again, got the black duck seat covers and that's it. In the engine bay, I'm not going to bother to open it, but we've also got uh, dual batteries up in the front corner here and a Red Arc BC to DC charger with solar input just tucked in there on the near the grill. I've also changed the grill too. Just put one of those 30th anniversary grills in there, which is something a little bit different to that one. Uh, I think that's pretty much covered it. There's not much more to show you really, besides a little quick walk around. Toyota is on the way to pick this up and take it back to the dealership for pre-delivery wash and rego. We've also put the sign writing on there as well for the guy. We've actually become quite good friends throughout the build. So it's been here for quite a while as I was waiting for a lot of parts. We've also done the window tint too. Haven't bothered touching the snorkel or anything like that. We've changed the Parker bulbs in the headlights just to a nice clear blue. Oh yeah, one last thing I forgot to mention. We've also put a alarm system on. So we've gone with the Viper. I don't know if you guys are familiar with the Viper system. It's a two-way paging remote, up to about two Ks. If anyone triggers your alarm or the um, anything like that, it's going to page you. It's going to let you know that someone's tinkering with your car and you can go and bash them. So um, that seems to be working pretty well and I'm looking forward to hearing the feedback of how that works. But that's uh, all integrated into the car and you, you pretty much don't need this anymore. You can just leave that at home and just work everything off this one now. It also locks the doors when you're driving too. So as soon as your car starts, all the doors lock which will be good for people with kids, I guess. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much it. Hope you liked the video. Um, like, share, subscribe, do all that stuff, and I'll continue to put out more videos like this one. Thanks for watching.